Chainlink and Band Protocol Pump, is Dia next? What's going on guys? Randy here with another daily crypto video. If you like daily content, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, like the video, and also check out my Patreon link down below in the description as well as the comment section if you want more exclusive content. Win $100 worth of Bitcoin between March 23rd and April 23rd. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment on each video. Every comment will give you a better chance to win, so if you comment on only two videos, you have two chances to win. If you comment on 20 videos, you have a better chance to win the $100 of Bitcoin. So today we're going to be getting into Chainlink, Band Protocol, some big news from both, and Dia, kind of a forgotten price oracle project, but is still uh, doing a lot of things in the background, securing a ton of partnerships, and are they next? And I'm pretty sure everyone here knows what a price oracle is because of Chainlink and the success that it's had over the past couple of years. But anyway, blockchain oracles are third-party services that provide smart contracts with external information. They serve as bridges between blockchains, and the outside world. The data transmitted by oracles comes in many forms, price information, the successful completion of a payment, or the temperature measured by a sensor. Now there's no doubt that Chainlink is the king of oracles in the blockchain world, and then of course Band Protocol is next in line, doing some great things in the space as well, but there's room for many, just like there's a ton of different blockchain platforms, you know, Ethereum, Polkadot, Cardano, Avalanche, Zilka, I mean the list goes on. Why can't there be just as many oracles? Of course, some will probably fall by the wayside, but one that, that I think can compete with the big dogs, and they kind of already are, they're securing partnerships every month, is Dia or Dia Data. So what makes Dia different from Chainlink and Band Protocol? Well, this Swiss-based Dia was founded in 2018 on the back of a demand for more transparent and accessible data solutions across the digital asset. Rather than provide data points and oracles itself, the platform enables the community to source and validate data through crypto economic incentivization. Dia sets out to democratize financial data similar to what Wikipedia has done in the broader information space with regards to a central encyclopedia. This offers continuous incentives to deliver high quality data streams as well as to scrutinize imp and improve existing solutions. In contrast, Chainlink usually only takes prices from a few places which can lead to inaccuracies. So Dia is kind of doing something unique here and just like Wikipedia does it's going to be a community it's a community based platform. Dia CEO Michael Weber says the growth of Oracle's solutions will be strongly dependent on the growth of DeFi applications, while the growth of DeFi applications in turn will be strongly dependent on the level of quality and transparency that Oracle solutions deliver. Now Chainlink saw this massive surge back in August of 2020. It went down from a few dollars up to hitting near nearly $20 per coin. Band followed not, not too long after, also hitting all, new all-time highs. And then there was this long consolidation period toward the end of 2020, and a lot of oracles kind of fell off the map, including including Dia. Now that Chainlink and Band are kind of pumping again, you, you're starting to see the oracles take off. And I think we're switching from this NFT hype back into the DeFi hype, and I think that a lot of money is going to start flowing into DeFi projects, which include price oracles. Chainlink was pumping today, hit new all-time highs of $44 and some change after the release of their new white paper, and they're going to be shifting toward smart contract computations. Chainlink unveiled its new white paper on Thursday, which details a planned expansion and pivot into creating Oracle networks for computation. The proposal would see Chainlink generalize its Oracle network into a meta layer of decentralized Oracle networks. The new architecture supports a larger selection of use cases, expanding its suite of services to off-chain computation of data. In Chainlink's vision, these computational oracles would create a class of hybrid smart contracts where part of the logic could be offloaded to the oracles. And then coincidentally, Band Protocol also had some major news. They partnered with Google Cloud. Google Cloud integration with Band Protocol, Oracle's and deep learning for real-time crypto price anomaly detection. And that's a massive get for Band Protocol, securely in the number 
to SPAT when it comes to um, oracles on the blockchain. It says, we are proud to announce that Google Cloud has integrated the band protocol standard data set live on Google BigQuery to enable immediate and accurate analysis of financial time series data. With band protocol oracles live on BigQuery, this is one of the direct collaborations with the Google Cloud team to enable traditional hybrid blockchain and cloud applications to be built which use decentralized oracles. All right, and some of some of DS partnerships over the last month, they've partnered with with Daffy, Gains, Dash Next, Moonbeam with Tixel, Horizon, Conflux, Shadows, Alliance Block, Binance Smart Chain, and the list goes on. Paid Network, Exceed Me, Pi Swap. So D is getting their fair share of smaller projects that could eventually be big. The crypto space is big enough for, for, for many big players here. Now, one thing to look forward to if you are a long-term DIA holder, they're coming up with a staking program, but it's not like your typical staking. This one here, you're locking your, your tokens up for, for a little bit of time. You can only stake a maximum of 300 DIA at a time. But if you plan on holding DIA long-term, 9 12 24 months 24 months uh, it's it's a long time you know 2 years but when you're all said and done your 300 dia will yield you a 20% apy you would earn 120 dia in return so principal plus yield would be 420 dia 9 months you would get 10%, 322.500 DIA in return. That's principal plus yield. And then 12 months, 15% yield. Principal and yield, you would get back 345 DIA. So not too bad there. 24 month, hey, if, 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 you, if you plan on holding, you'll be primed and ready to go for the next bull market with an extra 100 DIA and, uh, a, and likely a, a price appreciation over time. So that's something to look forward to if you hold DIA or if, or if it's a project you're looking to get into. Now, some might ask, why not just buy Chainlink or, or Band? And those are both great options. But if you're looking for the bigger gains, you're more you're going to find them from a project like DIA. Right now, Chainlink sits at number 11 over on at CoinGecko. It already has a massive market cap of $17.7 billion. Of course, it's going to go up. There's, there's room for Chainlink to grow as well, but your gains aren't going to be as much. Band protocol is up to $21 on the day. Eight hours ago, band hit its all-time high of $22.83. You can see back in August, it hit, it hit a, a high of $14, and then it uh, consolidated through October, November, December, and then started pumping again a little bit in January. There's still room for band to grow as well. It, it, it's probably going to be a top 100 project here in the near future, so there's still gains to be had. But again, if you're looking for real big gains, right now DIA sits at number 270. They have a small market cap of only $203 million. So back in August 2020, when, when DIA first came out, its circulating supply was only $8 million since it is, is risen to 41.5 million circulating supply. So at the time when it came out, it was, you know, the one $2 range. It's still at 490, which is not bad considering the circulating supply that that did increase. And Dia just saw an all-time high of five dollars and thirty-two cents only ten days ago. But if you look at this chart, Dia hasn't run. Dia has not had this huge run-up like some other cryptocurrencies have. And a lot of people are looking at the break, looking for it to break out here any day. So it might be a good time to jump in a position and ride the Oracle wave because it looks like we're back in uh, Oracle season. Right now, D is about $4.81. If it were to be a top 100 cryptocurrency tomorrow, based on circulating supply, it'd be pretty similar to OKB and Flow, which would put it at about $1.2 billion market cap. And it would probably be about a $30 coin during the peak of this bull run. I could see D easily do a 10x on the conservative side, which would put it at about $50 per coin, a little less. I wouldn't be surprised if it went higher. I think this bull run's going to be crazy, just like the one in 20. 17 you're gonna have these crazy blow off top numbers and everything's gonna be wildly inflated don't be surprised to see dia 10 or even 20x from here it's definitely possible but peak of the bull run conservatively i would say a 50 dollar dia all right let me know down in the comments are you guys uh are you guys chain link band holders are you dia holders or do you hold a different oracle platform everybody should probably have some kind of oracle in their portfolio many will probably be chain link or band but let me know down in the comments which oracle you hold if you guys like daily content make sure to subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification smash the thumbs up button 
check out my Patreon in the description, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.